Well, Merry Christmas to you on behalf of the wonderful family here at Freeport Bible Church and my family, Abby and the kids, we want to wish you a very special Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. My name is Pastor Kyle and I'm the senior pastor here at Freeport Bible Church and I am so delighted to be spending this Christmas morning with all of you. Now, if you've been following us over the last few weeks here at the ministry, we've been unpacking this theme the baby changes everything, a baby changes everything, where we focus on the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and how that baby changed the world then, is changing our world now, and will continue to change the world to come. That's the centerpiece of the Christmas story. But we added a little extra this season. If you've been watching us, uh, you would know that we've been having a stage play entitled The Baby Changes Everything that follows the life of the Millers, that Sasha and Trevor Miller, who were struggling to make ends meet as a family when they discovered that they were pregnant. And thus began a journey of wrestling of the pros and cons of going through or seeing this pregnancy through. They had um, external and internal forces trying to convince them that the baby was not in their best interest and that this was a big mistake to have a child under such tough circumstances. And if you've been following us through the last three weeks, you would see that last week Sasha and Trevor and family decided to have their third child where baby Clifton has been born. But the story doesn't end there. This morning, here on this blessed Christmas morning, we're going to bring to you part four and the finale of A Baby Changes Everything in the form of a short film, a short film that takes us 17 years later after they would have had baby Clifton. And this family discovers how God's perfect plan of having Clifton at such a tough time would come into fruition. And so I want you to, to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Huddle around the, te the television or the phone with your family right before you open, open your gifts and enjoy the finale of, sh of this short film, A Baby Changes Everything, and I'll see you after. Hi, good day, all. Oh my gosh, 
it's hot in here. Hot as Hades. Oh God. No air conditioning, Sasha? If hell didn't come up, I'd show a damage of bitch. Um, I'm sorry. Did, did you say something, dear? Oh, oh no, no, no. Weren't you supposed to pick up Clifton from school today? What happened? Yeah. Clifton. Clifton. Oh, you! <laughs> Cut a month. Bro, you a beast out there, man, but you gotta slow down, man. You're making us look bad. Huh? Making you all look bad. I don't have to do anything to make you look bad, bro. <laughs> so what's going on with you, man? Everything good? Everything cool, bro. Oh yeah, you go and mess up and get the wife pregnant. Oh my god, please don't remind me. <laughs> now nah, listen now, you is my hero. <laughs> what? Yeah, man, you is my hero, man. How old are you now? Who in there? Who wait till I get but how old you that? 43 to get the wife pregnant, man. Oh my gosh. Bro, you know something? It's all your fault. When I think about it, it's your fault. It's those same crazy Valentine's dinners you and your wife always insisting we go on. You remember? <laughs> Boy, how could I forget? 17 years ago, I gave us a Clifton, man. But you know something? It all worked out, man. It worked out. But don't give me that. You trying to honestly tell me that the decision to help Clifton didn't change the course of your life? <laughs> <laughs> boy, that scared the hell out of me, boy. What you mean? Boy, there were nights where I wanted to tell Sasha. Boy, maybe we shouldn't see this through. But hey, it worked out, man. But man, I been feeling this bad pain in my lower back. You know, I, I just don't know what it is. You serious with that? You didn't think that's stress related? Yeah, I think so. But, uh... I can be alright. I can be alright. As of the pregnancy, hmm. Yeah, I, I thought I thought it was the right thing. I think it was the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. But bro, how do you know no? How do I know? No. I pray, pray. <laughs> man, I, I just know the boy was going to be special to us, man. Special to the family. Do you think he is? I mean, he did cost you that project money. 
and not to mention the relationship with your mommy. Hey, don't remind me, alright? But in a strange way, just thought, you know, just had to be in God's plan. <laughs> alright, TD Jakes, we'll start preaching now. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to work. Yeah. Bro. <sighs> you alright? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I, just, I, I, yeah, I think I just get up too fast. Hey, man. hey, hey. Trevor, Trevor, you okay? Trevor, you all right? Dr. Battaglia. Dr. Battaglia, extension 198, paging Dr. Battaglia. What's happening, man? TJ, baby, I really ain't sure. I mean, they ran 
to test on your father earlier, but the results are back yet. I guess as soon as the doctors then know what's going on, they'll let us know. Ask Grant. Ask Grant. Grant was there. He could tell you. Grant, what, what, what happened, man? Listen, listen, we was just out in the yard, sitting down, talking, you know, and, and all of a sudden he got up and he started to sway. But by the time I catch on to what was happening, he was already on the ground. Oh, thank God the ambulance from work was there. Well, I don't know if you'd have been able to get in here on time. Sasha, Sasha, what happened? I came as soon as I heard the news. What is going on? I really don't know. The only information I got from Brown was that he followed at work. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. He was just sitting down chilling, man. Just sitting chilling. And he just fall out. He just fall out. What do you mean he fall out? What do you mean he fall out? What happened? No one knows. Dr. Malloy in surgery step. Dr. Malloy in surgery step. Ma'am, family. Um, at one of our treatments with Trevor, he did have me keep a record of all of you medical files and blood types. And there is a blood type 
that matches travel who can give them a kidney transplant. Oh. But, but it, it's not that simple. Oh. You see, the donor who matches him, he would have to willingly sign over to give his kidney to live with one for the rest of his life. Of course. I who that is. And, and I'll do it. Of course. The person who matches Trevor is Clifton. My baby? You don't have to. You really don't have to, babe. Just. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Clifton, are you sure? I mean, your father wouldn't want this, babe. You really don't have to. For me, think about it. Daddy do it for me. He do it for you. Even he do it for her. But, dog, I have one question. I can live off on kidney? You can, but you'll have to be on medication pretty early, but you would be okay. It's not even legal! I mean, he's he's a child! Oh, nobody's no, asking true. him to nobody's um, asking him to make this sacrifice. Can't we find a grown kidney from a grown person? It's only him. Oh gosh, my baby. And my this husband. This is unexpected. This is so much. Well, welcome back, and I hope you enjoyed our short film. Allow me to summarize and conclude what we just watched. Trevor and Sasha Miller, 17 years after baby Clifton was born, they discovered that God had a perfect plan for that child. After wrestling over what value this child would bring, what purpose could there possibly be of having a child under difficult circumstances, they discovered that God had a plan for his life and their life. Trevor the father was diagnosed with a terminal illness where he needed an emergency donor. He needed a kidney to save his life and after looking all over the place no one was there to, to donate a kidney to him except Clifton. Yes the baby that they that they wondered whether or not whether or not he fit into their plan. Their plan was one that stepped up and donated a kidney to save his father. Now many of you wouldn't know this, but this is based on a true story. There is a family out there that, this, that went through this, this struggle, went through the turmoil of having a, another child, went through the anxiety of, of wrestling about how, how things would come together after such a, a tough decision. But they realized that God has a perfect plan. And that's the story of Christmas. You see, the baby Jesus didn't just stay a baby. He grew up, just like Clifton grew up. He grew up not just in wisdom and in stature, but he grew into his purpose and his calling. He was no longer just a baby, he became a savior. And the Christmas season is the beginning of this story of salvation that God has for you and for me. Once Jesus grew up, he was the one that laid down his life. He donated himself. He offered himself as the perfect sacrifice so that our sins could be forgiven, so that we can get eternal life, so that we can get a second chance, so that we can connect with God in a fresh way. That is the Christmas story. So as you unwrap your gifts and as you exchange your gifts, why not take a moment and think about the gift that God has given the world in the form of His Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And why not respond the way the Magi and the wise men responded when they came and they sought Jesus out and they brought him gifts. And maybe today you don't have myrrh and frankincense. But what God really requires as the perfect gift for Christmas is our life and our heart and our trust. You can give Jesus the best gift possible by surrendering your life to him today. What a wonderful gift. What a wonderful gift. And I promise you that if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, that baby Jesus 
will change everything about you and everything around you. And so, Merry Christmas, and I want to pray with you today. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the gift of your Son. And Lord, on this blessed day that we've decided to celebrate the birth of our Savior, Lord, you always remind us that we are only just one decision away. That if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus came in the flesh, that he died for our sins, and that he rose from the dead, then you give to us the gift of eternal life. I pray for every single person, every child, every boy, every girl, every woman, every man who may be making the decision or committing them li their lives to you on this blessed Christmas morning. I thank you, God, for the gift of your gospel, the gift of salvation. And I pray, God, I pray that this season will have a new meaning in the life of all who witness this this morning. We thank you and we appreciate you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, right before you go, if you made a decision, I just want to encourage you to send us an email at the email at the bottom or give us a call or you can contact us at one of the, the addresses listed at the, at the bottom of the screen. We want to know who you are. We want to put some resources in your hand and we want to just fellowship with you and pray with you, all right? And so have a great Christmas morning. I could, I smell the turkey. I hear the gifts unraveling. I think I got to go too. You guys have a great, great Christmas morning. God bless you.